Hello and welcome to Reefcraft. Today we're going to be exploring some of the deep water acropora that I've found while diving in different parts of the world. This video was suggested by Justin, who commented on one of my shorts saying there was little to no in situ footage of acropora found in deeper areas of the reef. So what a great opportunity to show some of these rarer species off. In this video, I'm going to show you a heap of different habitats where these species can live in, as well as as many species of acropora that I can fit in. So like the name suggests, they're typically found in deeper areas, whether that be reef drop-off zones or silty slash rubbly kind of areas. But many of these species are actually found in higher areas too, but are usually outcompeted by other coral species. The next few clips are actually of a deep area of reef, all of these were down around 35 to 40 meters deep. And I've done my best to ID these, but most of these ones seem to be Acropora paraliniana. Now they can survive here because the water clarity here is incredible, but also the rock slope is angling up towards the surface. So light does travel down here far enough. Anything in darker areas, there's pretty much no Acropora at all. This was an incredibly remote area of New Caledonia. Now this pink morph of Caroliniana was actually one of the more common ones that I found and it can get huge. I mean, look at the size of this colony. And being that big, it's pretty fragile. So here you can see some natural fragging where little bits have fallen off and started new colonies on the reef. Before we move off this species, nice little close up there, as well as this peachy one that I found. I pre-apologize for the filming, but had to add it because it's one of my favorites I've ever found. Now we're off to a completely different habitat of the silty and sandy bottoms of Ahmed in Bali. I'm pretty sure this is an Acropora tonella. It was actually down at around 42 meters deep, which is incredible for an Acropora species. And right around the corner, there was this Acropora russuli or russuli. This one had a really stunning color and it's extremely rare to ever see one of these. This next species, I have no idea and I can't find any sort of info on it, but it's pretty interesting to find this Seriotopora down there as well. My best bet is probably Acropora elegans, but if you think you can ID it, then definitely drop a comment um, and let me know what you think it is, even if you have a guess. It's from Indonesia and ranges anywhere from 20 to 35 meters, so yeah, good luck. And if you look closely at this one, you can see the pink polyps. These next species are bottle brush Acropora species. Uh, these guys actually don't occur so deep they tend to be in around 10 to 20 meters um, but in the aquarium hobby they are still considered deep water uh, so i added them in here this next colony is huge and is the dominant species on this reef you can kind of see how it grows and takes over that entire area um, absolutely awesome to see this sort of growth form um, because it's pretty rare that you ever see anything like this this next species is pretty common across the Indo-Pacific, but I'm not even going to give it a shot at pronouncing it. I just always have called it Acropora jackie. Uh, it kind of looks like moss growing on rocks. It's absolutely awesome and one of my favorites to find. And up next, you've got this Acropora planner. This isn't usually considered a deep water, but I found this one at about 25 meters deep and it has the coolest growth form, so I added it in. Up next, we have Acropora paniculata. These guys are usually in a bit shallower water, but the next two shots, I found them at around 20 meters. So I included them. They still have that smooth skin acro look, which is, you know, what a lot of people associate with the deep water. But I think a lot of people will be surprised to see that they're actually not necessarily deep water. And that's the same for this next acro, uh, Acropora locani, also found generally pretty shallow. And this one wasn't really any different. It was found at around 12 to 15 meters and you can see it's surrounded by a pretty biodiverse reef. This next species is endemic to the areas around Bali. So it's one of those one of a kind sort of deep water acros. And this one was actually incredibly deep. This one was around the 40, 42 meter mark. This is Acropora simplex, I'm pretty sure. Not 100% uh, because a lot of these acros don't look like the pictures you see online. This is the most extreme example of axial coralites being long and tubular that I reckon you'll ever see. This next one is a super popular aquarium species. This is Acropora granulosa. And again, it's considered a deep water mainly because of that smooth skin look. However, they do grow up to, you know, the five meter mark, maybe even higher. And that name is probably to do with marketing. This next species isn't one you'd probably expect to see, but these ones grow very deep. And the deeper they get, the more angular and tubular they get, like this little colony here. 
And then there's this colony of Acropora de Vericata. I'm not 100% sure it is one, but it was growing at around 30 to 35 meters deep and it's the only real thing that resembles it. And again, with an incredibly popular Acropora, Acropora loripes. These guys are incredibly colorful and actually pretty populous on some of these reefs um, and not as deep as you'd expect usually around the 10 to 15, some down to 25 meters. This one's pretty cool. It's a kind of grafted colony of two different colors together. Now I did want to add a couple more species of SBS into this. This is an Acropora, this is an Acropora, and this is diving off Bali. It was just about everywhere at a certain point when other Acropora species stopped growing. You can see how expansive that entire area is all an Acropora. Now, if you've ever kept an Acropora, you'll know how fragile it is, and that's kind of how it spreads down these slopes, slowly breaking and creating more and more colonies as it rolls and regrows, rolls and regrows, until it can't regrow any further. Okay, right at the end here, I'm just going to add a few more that I just really don't know the species for, but they're just too good not to add. This yellow one, I found it in Fiji at around 15, 20 meters, and it is just stunning. I mean, look at that thing. So if you do know the species, please let me know. Here are a few other tasters of the other coral and animals that I film. But that's pretty much all I've got for today. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content and leave a comment if there's anything in particular you wanna see. I'll do my best to put something together or I'll get out there filming. All right, thanks again, catch you next time.